fine season. Good luck in the upcoming city section playoffs. Thank, Thank you, Jamal. You. All right, tell us the, your name, grade, and the position you play on the field. I'm Courtney Bradford, and I'm in 10th grade, and I play midfield and forward. I'm Anne-Marie Moreno. I'm a 12th grader, and I play center defender. So what made you choose soccer as your sport? Um, my brother started playing, so he got me inspired, so I started playing when I was really little. I started playing because of my family. I played with my sisters, and my brothers played, so that's how I got into it. So do you have a memorable moment that you'd like to share with us? Um, probably when Mackenzie got pushed over in the trash bag and it was raining, and then when Ammonide got hit in the head and like fell over. It was funny. Oh yeah, that was last year, right, against King Drew? Yeah. It was the best moment it was, ever. Yeah, it's gonna like stay with me <laughs> till. Stay with us I'm gonna forever. say it every year, Jamal. I have the same memory. I can't even find one that compares. <laughs> that was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> of course, I remember we a uh, game we did for Cox last year, Anne Marie, where you uh, scored against Narbonne. Remember that? Sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just recently, Court, you scored a uh, dramatic goal against Banning. Remember that? Yes, it was only yesterday. <laughs> I remember that. So, do you want to talk about one of your teammates, if you'd like? Um, all of them. I love them all. Like, it's just a fun team to be around. Emery's a great captain, and <laughs> I, I love them. Yeah, the same thing. I can't really pick one player out. I'll, all of them are great. Everyone gets along well. No problems. We're all happy. Happy family. They're all good. And lastly, do you have any future plans after you graduate? I want to play soccer in college, hopefully, and go to college and find something to do. I don't know yet. Same thing, graduate, go to college. It's my last year, so hopefully play soccer, get a scholarship. And lastly, one more thing, Emory, you started a uh, student section here at Pedro for all the football games where football won the share of the uh, city title with Norman. Want to talk a little bit about that? Actually, I didn't start it. Credit definitely goes to Ackery because she definitely was in charge of that. And it's just oh, a fun student group to be in, and we just like to cheer. But, yeah, Ackery definitely gets credit for that one. I kind of don't remember the name of that group. Is it Gold Fever? Yep, Gold Fever. Yep. So congratulations, Anne Marie and Courtney, on a fine season. Good luck in the city section playoffs. Thank you. All right, tell us your name, grade, and the position you play on the field. My name's Kelsey Engelman. I'm in 10th grade, and I play right mid. So what got you interested in playing soccer? Well, like, I started playing when I was, like, four because, like, my brother was playing, so I think that's it. So do you play any other sport at Peter besides soccer? Um, yeah, I actually, I play tennis, and um, I do track, too. So do you have a memorable moment that you like to share with us? Um, yeah, like last year, like when we were doing the Cox game or the meet team, I scored like two goals against Narbonne. That was like my first two goals. So yeah. yeah. So you want to tell us about a teammate if you like? Um, sure. I'll talk about Bev. She's really good. She's like in 11th grade and she plays center. And she's like, she's really nice too. And lastly, do you have any future plans after high school? Yeah, I want to play college soccer and like get into like a good school. So hopefully like... Berkeley or like Stanford so so congratulations Kelsey on another wonderful season good luck in the upcoming city section playoffs thank you all right tell us your name grade and the position you play uh, my name is Jasmine Brink I am in the 11th grade and I play center defense my name is Julissa Castaneda I'm in the 10th grade and I play forward and right mid so what made you choose soccer as your sport um, I've been playing soccer since I was like seven years old about and I've just fell in love with it ever since um, I've been playing since I was like four and a half and like my whole family is like into soccer, so yeah. Of course, Jasmine, last year you were the first person in San Bridger history to play two sports in the same semester. What was the other sport you played? Um, I also played basketball. So do you have a memorable moment that you'd like to share with us? Um, there's not really a memorable moment that I can think of this year yet, so I'm hoping somebody gets like hit in the head in a game or something. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what was the question? <laughs> oh yeah, memorable moment, Jalisa. So, um, the practices, like the practices we had were fun. So yeah. Would like to talk about the team in if you like? Um, I'll talk about Jalisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's funny and she's always here and we're always <laughs> laughing together, especially with our cheers that we make. <laughs> um, no. And lastly, do you have any future plans after high school? Um, I'm hoping to go to UC Santa Barbara. So if you're like a scout out there, my name is Jasmine Brink again. Um, 
or I just want to um, be a journalist, actually. I want to play college soccer. So congratulations, Jasmine and Jalisa, on a fine season. Good luck for the upcoming city section playoffs. Thank you. You too, Jamal. Bye. All right, tell us your name, grade, and the position you play on the field. My name is Beverly Eberhardt, and I'm a junior, and I play center mid. So what made you choose soccer as your sport? My sister started playing soccer, and I just pretty much followed her lead. So do you have a memorable moment that you like to share? Could be from this year or in past years. Um, I think this year the most memorable, memorable moment was the last game at Banning. Ackerby got a big black eye from heading the ball. And would you like to tell us about a teammate if you like? Um, I want to talk about Mariana. She's our goalie, and she's really nervous to do this interview. <laughs> So what do you like about the school here? This school, this school is a really good school. The academics are really good here. We pretty much do good with all the sports, football, city section, championship, and hopefully we'll get there too in soccer. And lastly, do you have any future plans after high school? Um, I'm looking at going to either Santa Barbara or San Diego, either state or California University. So. Hopefully I can do that. So congratulations, Beverly, on a wonderful season. Good luck in the upcoming city section playoffs. Thank you. All right, tell us your name, grade, and the position you play. My name is Cassie Conlin. I am a junior, and I play center mid. My name is Mariana Preciado. I play goalie, and I'm a senior. So what made you choose soccer as your sport? I've always played soccer since I was five years old, and my sisters played, so that's why I play. <laughs> My brother always um, played, so I just played with him to help him out. So, do you have a memorable moment that you like to share? Um, I think when our team played Banning, uh, when we came back, it was really awesome, and it was a good moment for our team. I think the same game. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about a team if you like? Um, I love everyone on our team. I love Rose and Jazz and Cord and all our freshmen and just everyone, our seniors. It's like a really good team, and I love everyone. I think everyone, but especially Chanel, because she's like the one who has taught me everything I know. And lastly, do you have any future plans after high school? I plan to go in college, and hopefully I play. Let me guess, UCLA, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my plans are to become a nurse or an EMT, something in the medical field, so maybe study. So congratulations, Cassie and Mariana, on a fine season. Good luck for the upcoming city playoffs. Thank you.